Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Uh, my name is Dr. Mumbal Latif and I am your instructor of the subject Principle of Animal Life 2. Today is the lecture number 13 in which uh, we talk about, about gene mutation. What is uh, mutations? Basically the word mutation was similar to the French word mutation which literally means process of changes. So the changes in the genetic makeup in the cell are called mutation. And the change in the genetic makeup means there, if there is a change in the genetic makeup, it will depict in genetic disorder in an organism. And one of the example of genetic disorder among humans is the sickle cell anemia in which only one amino acid change and there is a disease which is called sickle cell anemia in hemoglobin which is a oxygen carrying protein. What are the types of mutation? As I have told you that mutation are the change in the genetic material. So DNA is the deoxyribonucleic acid, which is the genetic material. And if there is a change in DNA, the whole genetic material will change and it has some consequences in the coming organisms. And you must familiar with the genes because gene is a shorter segments of DNA which is responsible for the formation of a polypeptide or a protein. So if a gene is changed, it will produce a malfunction protein and when a protein is changed, the original function of the protein cannot sustain and there is a malfunctioning protein in the organism which has some effects in an organism. And the last uh, mutations are the chromosomal mutations. As I have detail, uh, I have discussed in my previous lecture in detail about the chromosomal mutations because we all know there is a constant number of chromosome in an organisms and if there is a change in chromosome numbers uh, there is a change in an organisms and it has some serious genetic abnormalities in the coming organism if there is a change so what is point mutation point mutation is the change in the single base of the DNA. It's often known as single nucleotide polymorphism. And point mutation within a gene can be divided into two general categories. One is the base pair substitution and other one is the base pair insertions and deletion or a frame shift mutation. We now in uh, next slide we will discuss in detail what is base pair substitution and what is base pair insertion and deletion or frame shift mutation. What is base pair substitution? The replacement of one nucleotide and its partner from the complementary DNA strand with another pair of nucleotide is called a base pair substitution. And there may be following types of base pair substitution. The one is called missense mutation. What is missense mutation means? In this case, altered codons still code for amino acids and thus make sense. 
but this sense may not be the right sense that's why it is called missense mutation you must familiar about the codons what is codon it is a triplet code image there is a three nucleotide sequence which pair a specific amino acid so when a nucleotide in a codon is changed it will lead to abnormal number of abnormal amino acids in an protein and when there is abnormal amino acid in an a protein it can cause effect in the organisms and what are the types of missense mutation the type of missense mutation are harmless missense mutation what is harmless missense mutation in harmless missense mutation there is redundancy of the genetic code so some substitution mutations have no effect on the protein coded in other words a change in a base pair may transform one codon in another the new codon is translated into the same amino acid what does it mean in an in an codon there is a three nucleotide the third nucleotide from the right side is none of the importance or a least importance if there is a change in the last codon sometime it cannot alter the amino acid so this mutation do not have any effect on the protein or on the mrna and so when mrna do not change it will code for the same amino acids and the resultant protein are the same so that's why this kind of mutation are called harmless missense mutation in which the amino acid due to the change of codon does not change and other category of the missense mutation are the lethal missense mutation in which the alteration of a single amino acid in important area of protein is called a lethal missense mutation this alteration significantly alter protein and such mutations are dangerous because they create useless or less active proteins that impair cellular functions and one of the example is the sickle cell anemia i have told you then there is only one amino acid change and the structure of hemoglobin is changed and it will produce less oxygen Uh, so it will carry less oxygen in an organism and it has some lethal effects in an in that organism and the other one uh, is the card nonsense mutation what does nonsense means that the alteration in change of codon of an amino acid to a stop codon are called nonsense mutation i have told you in my topic of genetic code in which i have told you that some of the codon are not code for any amino acids so that's why that codon are called stop codon and if there is a change in the nucleotide in which a different nucleotide is changed to a nucleotide of stop codon so the protein number of amino acid in a protein can be changed if uh, in a case of insulin the insulin is made up of 51 amino acid so if there is a change in insulin uh, carrying mrna the resultant uh, 
protein will cut the pro, uh, can cut the insulin protein for by 30 amino acids so the resultant insulin is not workable so this kind of uh, change in which the change of codon of an amino acid to a stop codon are called nonsense mutation in this case a point mutation changes a code for an amino acid into a codon that signals termination so we, it will terminate the protein um, by not making the original number of amino acids a protein have and the other one uh, type of uh, mutations are called base pair insertions and deletion or a frame shift mutations what is frame shift frame shift means you must familiar about the uh, dna makes mrna and mrna makes protein so mrna has a certain sequence of nucleotide and if there is a change in the sequence of a nucleotide it will it the resultant change will create a different protein so insertion and deletions or additions or loss of one or more nucleotide pair in a gene this is called base pair insertions and deletions and these mutations have a more dangerous effect the mra mrna is read as a series of nucleotide triple during translation therefore the insertion or deletion of nucleotides may alter the reading frame of the genetic message and such mutations are called frame shift mutations these mutations occur whenever the number of nucleotide inserted or deleted is not a multiple of 3 and the, we will shift into the uh, other topic which is called uh, mutagenesis it's basically the uh, mutagenesis are in which there is an agent which cause mutation in DNA. So what is a mutagen? A mutagen is an agent of substance that can bring about a permanent alteration to the physical composition of a DNA gene such that the genetic message is changed. And the mutagen anything that causes a mutation a change in the dna of a cell and dna changes caused by mutagens may harm cells and cause certain diseases such as cancer and what are these mutagens are uh, this can be the x-rays and ultraviolet rays and this this can be chemical mutagens and these changes include alterations in the base sequence of dna and changes that alter the structure or number of chromosome what is dna basically dna interacts with the environment and sometimes that interaction can be detrimental to genetic information because ultraviolet light from the sun can induce mutations in your skin cells and mutation caused by chemicals most of the oxidizing agents commonly known as free radicals are substances that alter their base pairing capacities dioxin intercalates between these pairs disrupting the integrity of the dna helix and predisposing that site to insertions or deletion and there is another chemical which is called benzopyrene a known carcinogenic 
and a component of cigarette smoke has been demonstrated to induce lesions at guanine bases in the tumor suppressor gene basically these mutagens what the mutagens cause ye mutagens basically karte kya hai uh, you must know that dna you will go to the basic uh, uh, molecule biology in which dna basically is a, uh, these are the molecules and molecules are made of atoms uh, and atoms made up of electrons proton and neutron so if an ultraviolet rays or an x rays exposed to the dna structure it sometimes loses the electron or sometimes excites the electron so when electron excites there is a change in the atoms and when there is a change in atom different atoms are formed and so the genetic makeup of dna are changed and what does chemicals do because chemicals are also molecules and when these chemicals interact with dna molecule they make new chemicals so the formation of new chemicals can cause change in the dna structure and when a dna structure change there is a change in the genetic material and this genetic material change can bring changes in the coming organisms and now i'll show you the uh, animation which will further uh, enhance the concept of gene mutation now what are the basic genetic diseases caused by gene mutation some of the well known inherited genetic disorders in, uh, include cystic fibrosis which is caused due to deletion mutation sickle cell anemia which is caused due to point mutation in which only one nucleotide codon change and there is a uh, different amino acid change and the other is tay sachs disease which is also due to point mutation color blindness cancer tumors all of these disorders are caused by the mutation of a single gene and most inherited genetic disorders are recessive which means that a person must inherit two copies of the muted mutated gene to inherit a disorder iska matlab kya hai ki agar ye most of the inherited genetic diseases jo hote hain wo recessive hote hain recessive ka matlab ye hai ki jab dono recessive अलील जो है एक एक जीन के अंदर आएंगे तो वो अपने आप को एक्सप्रेस करेगा अगर सिंगल अलील आएगा तो अपने आप को एक्सप्रेस नहीं करेगा तो इस इस वजह से जो कॉन्सेंजेनियस मैरिज मैरिजेज होती हैं यानी जो ऐसी मैरिजेज जो कजन मैरिजेज कहलाती हैं अगर कोई ऐसा ट्रेंड आता है कोई चेंज आ रहा है मतलब उनके अंदर कोई ऐसी जेनेटिक डिजीज पाई जाती है तो अगर कजन मैरिजेज ज्यादा होंगी तो वो जेनेटिक डिजीज उन उनकी फैमिलीज के अंदर फर्दर जाती रहेंगी इसलिए डिस्करेज किया जाता है कि क्लोज रिलेटिव्स के अंदर मैरिज नहीं होनी चाहिए क्योंकि टू जेनेटिक सिमिलर अडल्ट आर मोर लाइकली टू गिव अ चाइल्ड टू कॉपीज ऑफ अ 